King Dawson on this. He was at the Nikki Haley speech today. He's the former chairman of the uh, party there in South Carolina on the Republican side, supports Haley. I know you know her well. Here's, here's my thing, Kate, and I, I think we, we, outlaw, we outlined the numbers. Everybody knows the numbers and what they look like right now. I do think there's an interesting question at hand here, no matter what happens in these primaries, about the Nikki Haley supporters. There's thousands and thousands of people who support Nikki Haley. Where will they be in this race? I just want to play one clip from her speech that you attended earlier today about how the things have broken down so far, about how Trump doesn't have the support of the entire party. Here's how she put it. What does it say about an incumbent who's losing nearly half of his party? It spells disaster in November. We shouldn't silence those voters like Trump wants. They have the right to keep speaking out. And my point would be that they will they could speak out in November even if she's not the candidate, and it's an open question about whether they all go for Trump. Does he get 99 percent of them, 90, 80, 70? What would you say about the Haley coalition? Well, I got to say that we, we got a long way to go to November, and I, and, and I know Nikki well. I, I'm a guy, one of those people who tried to talk her out of the race in 2010, and, uh, and I was wrong, so I'm certainly not the guy to do that now. She is uh, resilient. Uh, she's got a point that, that uh, uh, there's a long way to go, and, and, and we have a lot of states that deserve the right to be able to be heard. Nikki wants a larger Republican Party, and Donald Trump wants a smaller one. And right now, Trump has hijacked the Republican National Committee, done a good job at doing that. He's, he seems to be doing well in South Carolina, but you've got to subtract, Connell, 400,000 newly voting voters in South Carolina that have moved here since 2016. Mm -hmm. Give Nikki credit. She's got teams set up in Georgia, California, Minnesota, Massachusetts, Idaho, and Alaska. So she's not, she's not bluffing. She's yeah. going to keep on going and, and making, making her point about her race. That's how it is. I mean, she has the money. She can continue to make her points. And, um, you know, th that's what we expect her to do. That's what she said she's going to do today. I did think it was also quite interesting. You talked about how she wants a broader party, that she got into this idea. It doesn't seem like she's going to be, you know, Chris Christie anytime soon. And I know she goes after <laughs> Donald Trump, but she addressed this idea that is she in the kind of the never Trump camp, as it's called. Let's listen. There are those who will try and paint me as never Trump. That's not who I am, never have been. I supported Trump in 2016 and in 2020. I was proud to serve America in his cabinet. My purpose has never been to stop Trump at all costs. And then she went on to talk about President Biden, but so again, the Republican Party, I, I know you're going to say it's a long way to go. I get it. You're a supporter of Nikki Haley. But this idea of the Republican Party coming together around the nominee, even if it's Trump, seems like Haley would be in that camp rather than Christie, who, you know, came out when scorched earth when he dropped out of the race. She, she could be. I mean, she could be. But, but what people don't understand is Nikki's got a steel spine. I mean, <laughs> she, she, she got in this thing a year and a half ago to win it. She's, she's not going to just quit because the pundits say, okay, we've run three primaries, there's Super Tuesday coming, you don't stand a chance. The more they do that, the more it motivates Governor Haley. So I, I will tell you that, that, you know, the thing that we find unique is Donald Trump is selling gold sneakers right. and, and doing stunts all over everywhere and trying to avoid a continued race and wants to be anointed by the Republican Party. I, I don't think that's gonna happen. He might win, but he's going to know he's been in a fight. The rest of them are all gone. It's just Nikki and, and Trump. We've got generous donors that continue to be generous today. And let's have us a contest and go through Super Tuesday and see what happens. Well, That's the least we're going to do. Well, see what happens. Is that really a kind of code for saying, let's see what happens at the convention if there's, I mentioned earlier, whether it's a health issue or more likely some sort of a legal issue. Is that is that why you hang around from a practical perspective here, if you're Nikki Haley? Well, well, that's a good idea from you, but and I, I was on the national committee for eight years and did the last five conventions as delegates and and right. get all that process. And we're certainly going to watch the Democrat side. That's for sure. Those super delegates are going to show up uh, when 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 President Obama convinces Joe Biden to probably move aside. So there are a lot of things going on here that I'm not sure who's going to be where, but I'm sure Nikki Haley is going to be in the race for the next four to five weeks. All right, Kate. All right um, Kate and Dawson, thank you. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more 
of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.